welcome to our lesson on bearing. This is basically form one uh, towards the end of the year. Some can do it in term two, but some in term three. So bearing that we are handling is true bearing, but we have two types. You can be asked about true bearing and compass bearing. Okay, true bearing and compass bearing. What I'm handling is true bearing. A true bearing is given in three figure. So it is a three figure system. The figures you are given represent the angles that are drawn from north in a given direction. So the three figure will represent an angle. An angle can be represented normally even in a two digit, like 45 degrees, like 39 degrees, 82 degrees, and so on. But in a true bearing, because the whole uh, revolution is 360 and 360 has three figures the three the six and the zero we tend to represent true bearing in the three figure system so i've given you an example here these are three figure system instead of just writing 60 degrees we write zero 60 150 already is in three figure okay so what i'm doing i'm concentrating on true bearing one it is represented in a three figure format two every angle is measured from north in clockwise direction bearing an angle direction measured okay from north in a clockwise direction so I'm doing this which we have said it is in a format of three figure okay so it is in maybe a B C degrees that like 324 we don't write just 30 we would write 0, 30. Do you understand? So, A is like 0, B is 3, C is 0. 0, 30. We don't just write 30. Are you at home? Yeah. Now, let us try to get an example here. B is on bearing 0, 60 and 16 kilometers from A. Okay? B is on a direction of 60 degrees measured from north and it is 16 kilometers from A. Okay. C is on bearing 150 and 32 kilometers from B. Okay. Draw the relative positions of A, B, C. Now, I'm going to show you Sliding method. Sliding method. Very important. You must understand this sliding method. What we need is a ruler, a protractor, and a set square. Ruler, protractor, and set square. Now, before you do any bearing question, number one, sketch. You must sketch. So, roughly, I've done it here. This is A. So we measure from north 60 degrees. Then that is the direction of B. And how far is B from A? 16 kilometers. So that is a point B. At B, you also have to draw a compass so that you are able to get the direction of C. So if this is our B, 
we draw a compass. Then we are told it is 150. The direction of C with respect to B is 150. Remember, all angles are measured from north. So we sketch from there up to here, 150. Then we draw a line. So B, C is along this direction. Which particular point? It is the distance you are given that determines that point. We are told it is 32. So you measure 32 uh, using the scale. Then you get here point C. At C, we have to draw the compass. And we will be at home. So I will try to show you what happens. Pay attention because you note down the points or play that video many times for you to get. So how many compass do I have? Three. One, two, three. At A there is a compass, at B there is a compass, and at C there is a compass. Compass number one. Compass number one. You just use a ruler and a pen, pencil. Now, why must you sketch? Because we have said the first thing is to sketch. We sketch so that we know how to use the space provided. The sketch could be pulling you to the right or pulling you down or to the left. As it is, I know point A has to be on the left. I am pulled up, slightly up to the right. Then I, again I am pulled slightly right but down to C. So you cannot start in the middle. You may miss the working space. Do you see why you must sketch? It gives you the framework of the use of the space. So I start compass one on the left hand side. So I will start it here. I want us now to have this in the mind and then we we'll focus down how do I start. I may start it here. Okay? So compass number one, just take a ruler, draw. After drawing that, you take a protractor on a given point. So I may use that point. If you don't have a protractor, what do you do? I place my ruler here. I place my ruler there. And at the point I have designated there, I put my set square. My set square and draw here. Still, I'll get the tool a perpendicular. Alternative, you use protractor. It has 90. So, I had already put a point here. Okay? Now, you have that is your, this is your first compass. This is north. Okay? Then I have to measure 60. So, I have to measure 60 degrees here. I have it here. Then I have there. That is the direction of 60. Remember, we measure from north clockwise. So you can see 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There. There. After that, what do you do? You take. Now I can use blue. I take. There. So I've measured that. This is now 0, 60 done. Okay? Now, I have to measure 16 kilometers using a scale. You may use a scale to scale down. Scale down the 16 and 32 kilometers. We can't measure kilometer. It can't fit. So let us imagine, let us imagine it is here. That is our point B. How did you know? We measured 60 from north with respect to A on the direction 
of 0 60 then we used some scale down to measure so you maybe you would use 16 centimeters or you would use 8 or you would use 4 to scale it down that depends on you okay what do i mean for us to get maybe i would say 4 will go there 4 4 will go here 8 times okay so for example after getting your distance now 4 i've gotten and then i come here for example you put a mark i've put a mark so you come here we'll put a mark but that is not the key thing i want you to know the key thing i want you to know is how to draw the compass the first one is simple a horizontal line put a mark put the compass or set square you get the compass measure now pay attention what i do here i'm going to use a ruler and a set square i want to transfer this here a straight line and then i will also transfer horizontal line here so what do you do put your ruler vertically vertically there after putting your ruler there vertically on the line put your set square there again the two must meet the two must meet okay they are meeting and they must be representing those then slide it up okay you slide it up after sliding up you take your pencil and the draw so this has gone up that is sliding method okay put your ruler on y axis set square goes on x axis then slide change the ruler was on y axis but now i put on x axis after putting on x axis that way then i put the set square on y axis now then you do what slide okay you must hold firmly you must hold firmly so you put there and then slide after sliding you draw Okay, so you draw that. Then what do you do? You take your protractor. Now I want 150. So I put there 150 is somewhere here. That's 150. So from north zero you come until here 150. Okay. So what do you do? Take your ruler and make it long there okay so this is north from here all the way up to here i can rub this it is not of any use now so this is 150 degrees up to there so c is along here but which particular point it is 32 so an example you go we have scaled it down to eight you open your ruler your compass on a ruler and take the required measurement take the required measurement maybe from there up to there then come here transfer so once you do that let us imagine it is here i need to draw a compass what do you do we use set square and a ruler do you remember you can start with this on y axis so here we are I can use this I can use that I use this like that hold firmly then take this put on the x axis then slide when you slide you don't need this I concentrate on this The ruler was on y axis set square on x axis then you slide we change now the ruler is on x axis x axis there 
then the set square there it's very slippery that is the y axis this is the x axis then you do what slide it once you slide it leave that so you draw your knot okay so you can see how i use the ruler and set square this is not now you join i can join now i can join now a to c okay so i want you to try this on your own how ruler we are we have two things ruler and set square it's okay if ruler is on y axis this is on x axis and then what follows slide if this is on x axis the set square is on y axis and then you do what slide okay ruler is on y axis if the ruler is on the y axis then the set square should be on the x axis and you can see this is perpendicular then you do what hold firmly and this must always be together don't do and leave some space there this don't they must be together after that after that hold the ruler family slide after sliding there this one has no work then you draw your horizontal line then you swap the ruler now is on x axis the set square can be downward depending on the position from the sketch or it can be upward okay and then you slide okay it looks complex for now but when you do it you will be okay you have to do it several i've done it several several that's why it is simple to me you do the same okay just get this keep on changing the red and this those are the only things you change here 060 here 150 okay so you can have another one another trial you can put here 30 and then here you put maybe 120 then try and see how you hold your ruler and set square the first one is simple horizontal line draw a horizontal line put a mark okay draw a horizontal line draw the first compass draw a horizontal line put a mark after putting a mark you can take your protractor and then put a mark at 90 after putting a mark at 90 you now draw this generates all other compasses try and try remember to subscribe so that you get this there are many more coming bye bye